have already completed that topic acids. What are the what were the properties of acids? Acids are sour in taste. They turn blue litmus to red. They will react with the metals to give hydrogen gas, and they react with the carbonates of uh, carbonates of metals to give carbon dioxide gas. This thing we already completed. Now we will come to bases. Now what are the properties of bases? Bases have a bitter taste. They have a bitter taste. The so first is they have a bitter taste. Bitter taste. Then second one they are soapy to touch. Soapy to touch. When you touch or when you have to take a uh, alkali in your between your fingers and you rub it like this, you will feel like like soap. So that is why you feel soapy to touch. Then. They will turn red litmus to blue. Red litmus to blue. So red litmus will be turned blue. I have red litmus here. See this is red litmus. Red litmus paper. This is red litmus. We have seen red litmus. Now I will take a test tube with the alkali. Sodium hydroxide I have taken. See, it turned blue. So the red litmus will turn blue. See my hand when I am touching it, it is soapy. That is why I told it is soapy to touch. So they are soapy to touch. They are turned red litmus to blue. They react with the metals. React with the metals to give hydrogen gas. Not all metals and not all alkalis can give this reaction, very reactive metals, very metals where the reactivity is high, they react with the metals to give, they react with the uh, alkalis to give hydrogen gas. For example, sodium hydroxide when it is heated with a sink, you will get Na2, then O2 plus H2, you will get hydrogen gas. This is called a sodium syngate. It is the salt. Salt you are getting. Sodium syngate and hydrogen. You when sodium hydroxide reacts with the zinc, uh, you will get a sodium syngate and hydrogen. <coughs> now next is sodium hydroxide. When it reacts with the metals like aluminium, metals like uh, sodium, etc., then only you will get hydrogen gas. When unreactive metals, they do not give hydrogen gas. Like the copper, it will not give. Okay. So, this is how the, they react with metals. And the alkalis, they do not react with the either carbonates of metals like a sodium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate, etc. Alkali will not react because uh, they are also alkaline in nature. Hmm? So, this is how they react to the very properties of bases and acids. Now, so acids, I write the names of certain acids. You have to say, tell me what is common in them. HCl, H2SO4, HNO3, H3PO4. These are all acids. What is common in them? They all have hydrogen. Is it? All of them are having hydrogen in them. That means when these are added to water, they give hydrogen ions. For example, HCl. 
When you add the hydrogen, so water, you will get H plus plus Cl minus. So in water, what is happening is actually when you add HCl to water, the hydrogen ions which are produced will combine with the water molecule to form H3O plus. So when you dissolve HCl in water, what is happening is first HCl will dissociate with you H plus and Cl minus. This H plus ions will combine with the water molecule to form hydronium ions. So you will get hydronium ions whenever you add an acid to water. H2SO4, you see H2SO4. When it is added to water plus to H2O, you will get 2H3O plus plus SO4 2 minus. So you will get hydronium ions in solution. Whenever you add an acid to water, you will get hydronium ion. So I'll ask you one question. See when we studied in the first chapter the combination reaction. Hydrogen combines with the chlorine to give hydrogen chloride. Right? Suppose you show a dry liquid to hydrogen chloride gas. Will it turn blue? It will not turn blue. When you show a blue litmus to lit, uh, turn to red, the blue litmus, if you show to dry HCl gas, will it turn to red in color? It will not turn to red in color. Why it will not turn? Because this reaction must take place for showing the acid property. Isn't it? So if water is not there, it cannot form hydronium ion. It cannot split into H plus and Cl minus. Therefore, it cannot turn the blue litmus to red. Then what will I have to do? You will have to make it wet. You show a wet blue litmus, it will turn so it will turn red because in the moisture is there, that is water is there, it will split into H plus and Cl minus and it will combine with water to form hydronium ion. So when you add acid to water, they all will split into ions. If ions are there, then these all acids will conduct electricity. Am I right? They will conduct electricity in water because they are splitting into ions when you, are, when you add them to water. So all acids, if you add them to water, they all will become, their water will become good conductor. But suppose you add sugar. Sugar, what is sugar? C12, H22, O11. It is also having hydrogen. Will it conduct electricity? It will not conduct electricity. Why it will not conduct electricity? It cannot give hydrogen ions in solution. It's not an acid. It cannot give hydrogen ions in solution. It will not split into ions. That is why a solution will not conduct. Now you add alcohol to water. Then also it will not conduct. But if you add acid, which also contain hydrogen ions like it, they will split into hydrogen ions in water and they will conduct. Now what are bases then? Bases are, see, sodium hydroxide. If it is added to water, it will split into Na plus plus or H minus. In water, it will split into sodium ions and hydroxide ions. So the bases are or alkalis are substances which will give OH minus ions in solution. Hydroxide ions in solution. Understood? So, acids are substances will give H plus ions in solution and bases are substances which will give OH minus ions in solution. Now, suppose you add an acid to what uh, alkali, what will happen? See, acids and alkalis, they are all colorless, isn't it? Any reaction taking place, we cannot understand. So, I will take a test. A, the alkali and if I am adding acid and if any reaction takes place then I cannot find out whether react this acid reacted with alkali and uh, reaction is over nothing isn't it so I told you to show the presence of alkali and acid used indicators this is phenolphthalein indicator I am adding a drop of phenolphthalein indicator now see it became pink in color so 
it, it indicates that it is a base. Now I am going to add the HCl gas, sorry HCl hydrochloric acid. We will add draw legs. See, I am going to add a little bit by a little. What is happening? See, all color gone. That means all the base is gone, neutralized. Now what is all the, now there is no pink color. That means no base is there, all the base is neutralized. Now what is this reaction? Reaction between, between an acid and a base. What is the reaction? The reaction is called a neutralization reaction. This reaction is called a neutralization reaction. That is neutralization reaction. Now what is neutralization reaction? This is acid, HCl. It reacts with the NaOH to form NaCl, sodium chloride plus water. This is the reaction that took place. So HCl which was present as H plus and Cl minus Z. I told you water will split into H plus and Cl minus. NaOH will split into Na plus plus OH minus. And NaCl will be present as Na plus and Cl minus and H2. Now you will see Na plus, Na plus, Cl minus, Cl minus. Now what is actual reaction taking place? H plus of the acid combines with the OH minus of the base to form H2. This is the neutralization reaction. This is the reaction taking place during a neutralization reaction. So, acids are substances which will give H plus ions in solution. H plus ions will combine with the water molecules to form hydronium ion. That is what is happening when you add an acid to water. Base, if you add the water, it will become it will give OH minus ion solution. When an acid reacts with a base to form salt and water, we call it as a neutralization reaction. And what is the reaction actually taking place? HCl, it is present as H plus and Cl minus. NaOH is present as Na plus and OH minus. And in the product with here, we are getting NaCl, that is Na plus and Cl minus plus H2. H2 will not split into H plus and OH minus. So, you cancel out the common ions, you will get H plus plus OH minus gives H2O. So, this is the actual reaction taking place when any acid reacts with any base to form salt and water. Understood? So, this is neutralization reaction. So, an acid reacts with a base to form salt and water that is called a neutralization reaction. So, today we have taken the properties of bases. Bases are bitter in taste, they are soapy to touch, they turn red litmus to blue, they react with the metals to give hydrogen gas and they do not react with the carbonates or bicarbonates of metals. Then we have studied what are acid. Acids are substances which give hydrogen ions in solution and when you dissolve an acid in water, that water will become conducting because it is containing ions. But if you add either sugar or alcohol in water, they do not conduct electricity because they will not split to give ions. And the bases are substances which give hydroxide ions in solution. And when acids are mixed with the bases, they neutralize each other and the reaction is called a neutralization reaction. A reaction between acid and base to form salt and water. And the actual reaction taking place is H plus ions combined with OH minus ions to form water. Okay, so today we will stop here.